come and sit here. Just give her time. Don't get mad anymore. <sighs> Even Rome was not built in one day, as they say, correct? The food we serve doesn't taste good at all. We can't satisfy the diners. She has to learn fast, no matter what. We can't afford to close the restaurant. Don't be so anxious. I know we don't have many customers these days, but we can still cope with it. At least she still has me, right? I have been your assistant for many years now, and I have learned quite a few skills. No need to hurry. Are you all right? There you go. Oh, here. How are they? They but look fine. How come it feels like they're not there anymore? Let me see. Where is that smell of burning coming from? Huh? Did you turn off the stove? No, I didn't. This is going to get much worse. Hurry up! Hurry up! Give me a towel. Give me a towel. Do not use the water, just, just the, water. Just the towel. towel. Use the towel oh, no, that's going to be now. Oh, Put it out. Come back Turn the gas off, Susie. Hurry! Oh, no. Here. Oh, Help me with this. Oh, oh, come, on. come on. Do it. Oh, oh, give me that. Me. Oh. You did very well. Perfect score. Use your answers to correct others. Okay. <laughs> Miss Lynn. Hello. These are... Flowers. They're for you. For me? Yes. Who are they from? The delivery man said that these flowers have been ordered on the internet. I don't know exactly who it's from. I'm only responsible for handing it to you. Please sign here. Okay, thank you. Thank you. you. All right, hey. excuse me. Awesome. Jack sure does act quickly. I'll do my homework somewhere else. Sober up? Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I did. I want to take you to a nice place. Are you so sure I'll just go with you? What did you do that I have to forgive you? Give me one good reason. I got drunk once and now you're nagging me. I didn't say anything when you were drunk. You even hit me, but I still kept quiet. But when I got drunk, you didn't come to me. I had my reasons to get drunk. Well, you drank for no good reason. Don't try to soften me up. All right then, don't be mad. It's all my fault. My very considerate lady. My responsible lady. My very lovely lady. Please. Shouldn't you be saying something? Like what? The flowers are nice. That's all? Shouldn't you be apologizing to me? Oh, come on, don't be so formalistic. You should know I absolutely trust you. I know your ex-boyfriend's back. He sends you flowers. Of course, he's obviously up to no good. Did I say anything? I didn't ask anything. I thought that these were from you. Mm. No, I couldn't have done that. Look at the flowers. They've wilted. It already looks terrible. How could I have bought them? Stop the car. Just stop the car right now! Auntie Wen's husband has cancer. Wendy was fired for bringing anti-cancer drugs from Hong Kong. 
Frankly, she did it for me. She got drunk that night, and I stayed with her, it's true. But had I not stayed with her, that would have been unkind of me. I... explain things to her. I believe she will get over it. I know it's all my fault. I explained it to her. But I didn't explain to the one I really care about. Olivia, I am very sorry. I always managed to upset you. I should care about you more. I'm a vulgar man, but I'll do my best to change. Remember what you just said. Because what if you do it again? Ignore me if I do it again. Anyway, I can find other ways to make you forgive me. Listen, I didn't want to drink. Because no matter what wine I do drink, it makes me miss you. I drink when I miss you. Whatever the drink is, it's rubbish. I prefer you over it. You said you were a vulgar man. But you're quite good at making up lies, aren't you? Is that your strategy when flirting with young girls? Not really. Stop that. People are watching us. So what? You're my girl. I want to ask you something. I sent a photo to you while I was at the church in Sydney. Why didn't you reply? Because I didn't like it. I only have bad memories of that church. But for me, the church is very meaningful. You ended a relationship there. But we started a new one there too. I'm an atheist. But I even made a wish. Hoping that our love can withstand any test. Now. What are you doing? Oh. This is a key. When I was young, I would always wear the key of my home. For me, the key means a sense of belonging. And a type of bond with my beloved ones. Olivia, starting today, you're my only one. What I'll hold dear will only be memories of us. Now I am going to give you this key to the door of my heart, to its only owner. And so sickeningly sappy. <laughs> <laughs> but you are moved, aren't you, Olivia? Hey, it's only us having dinner. No need to make so many dishes. Here is the soup. Oh. There you go. Wait, let me tell you something. Olivia hasn't called us these past few days, yet somehow I simply had urge to make our daughter's favorite dishes. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I suppose it hasn't been going well, because if it did, she'd bring him here. Am I right? It doesn't seem so good. We haven't heard from them. She called me and she said, Jack's on a business trip, and that when he comes back, she will contact us and they will make time to come and see us. He's already busy even before marriage. If this keeps up, when they do get married, oh well. He'd have no time to stay with Olivia. As her dad, you shouldn't say that. You talk like you don't care about your own daughter. You're constantly nagging about your son-in-law and criticizing him hey, too. I didn't accept him as my son-in-law yet. I gave him the opportunity, but he didn't cherish it. Wait. What are you doing? I haven't eaten yet. You even curse your own daughter. I will keep this for her instead. <gasps> hmm? Do you think Olivia and Jack are here? Good evening. What are you doing here? I'm here to visit you. Uh, I bought some health products, like some tonics, calcium supplements, and also organic nourishments. Why did you come here and visit us? You should go to your parents. Uh, Mrs. O, I know you and President O are disappointed. I feel disappointed too, so I want to do something about it. No need for that. I should tell you, Olivia already has a boyfriend. They have a good relationship, so you better stop coming over here. Mrs. O, from what I know, she doesn't get along with that pilot. You- Uh, and of course, I'm being sincere now. I won't allow Olivia to be hurt again, honest, I- Is that Andy? Don't President just stand o. there. Come on uh, in. Come in. Uh, 
President O. Ah, so you came. Yes, President O, these are... So, wanna come up? Okay. <laughs> Have they gotten to this point already? They're that open minded? Come on, let's go. No, don't, don't what do leave you do? yet. What? Let's Just try leave them alone. To catch them. Why would Don't you make some noise. Shh. I'm gonna go get some water. Let's continue later. I'm waiting. I caught you, busted! What were you doing, huh? Tell me, Jack. Is he wearing clothes? Uh, yes, he is. Is Olivia naked? What? Hey, stop it! Huh? So? What's going on? We were just playing games. Right. I have a cool game. Angel, it is so much fun, and it's called Monster Bubbles. Remember it, I'll say it again. It's called Monster Bubbles. It's such a good game, suitable for everyone, Angel. I'm sure you'll like it. Phil, I'm sure you'll really love it. I'm sure you'll both be addicted to it. Let's have a competition to see who can win. It's so simple, but it's not easy. It's good for your brain. Let's go play a game, huh? It's already late. We're going to the sleep. The matron has given orders. You're being quite childish. Monster Bubbles? Really? Why didn't you play adult games instead? Is it fun? Really? It's really Tell fun. Okay, listen huh? to me. About this game. Uh -huh. First of all, it's uh -huh. good for your intelligence. Were you really playing games? Yes. Wanna play? But is it fun? <laughs> Doctor. Please be sure to cure my poor husband, no matter how much it costs. Do what it takes to cure him, please. It isn't just about money, ma'am. He's suffering the terminal stage of cirrhosis. And he had hepatic functional decompensation last time. It's not really looking too good for him right now. The most effective way is to do a liver transplant. Okay, we'll cooperate. We'll do as you say, and follow your arrangements. The liver transplant is not an easy procedure. The liver source is the point. His blood type is O. We don't have the liver source. So we'll wait? Yes. For how long? Um, should he wait since his sickness is so serious? What I'm asking is, can he wait that long? Also, I wanted to ask, can I or my daughter donate a liver? We're both very healthy. Theoretically, it is okay. As long as the blood types a match, then that's a feasible option. But the surgery has many risks to factor in. You should really consider them. I see, all right. It's okay. Oh well, we'll cooperate with you, whatever you say. We will do anything. Very well. You can fill out a form. Yes. And do uh, a blood test to uh, check the a, compatibility. A blood test. Oh. Besides that, the surgery cost is expensive. You should think about it. Okay. How much is it, doctor? Uh, it's about 500,000. It depends on the surgery itself. It should be done as soon as possible. All right, thank you. Thank you, doctor. Thank you so much. 500,000? Hmm, so what? Didn't you purchase some local specialty in Australia? Just eat your meal, Harry. How come you came back so late? I thought you were doing something private in your room with Miss Lynn. I didn't want to disturb you. Mm. Did she forgive you? Don't ask about the affairs of adults. It's not for kids your age. You're too young to know. Just eat your food and go to bed. Fool! You really have lousy taste. The flowers you gave must be expensive, but they were ugly. Flowers I gave? How could I buy such vulgar flowers like that? That's not my style at all. You know what? Stop nagging. Eat your food. But to be honest, I'm impressed. You... you made big progress. The noodles are really very good. Your skills are as good as my grandpa's. I'm sure of it. Try it. Have a taste. You have a talent for... nagging while... eating. I know it's good. I made the noodles so I know. <laughs> Hmm. 
Mom, I'm going to do the blood test tomorrow. The doctor said that donating your liver will have risks on your health. It's fine. I'm still young. I know I can make it. Dad has become very sick and weak. I know it's because of me. I'm not blind to that fact. I haven't done anything good for our family. In order to save Dad, I'll do anything. Even be a liver transplant donor. Thank you so much, Rebecca. You truly are a good daughter. Your dad and I lived in Inner Mongolia for 30 years. Your dad has never gone beyond moral bounds. He and I are intended to have a simple life. We only wanted to enjoy our days after our retirement. I didn't expect that he would suffer from this sickness. Mom, try not to be upset, huh? You and I, let's support each other so that we can help Dad heal faster. But we don't have enough money for it. So what should we do? How much money do you have now? Well, I brought 5,000 for the hospital, but I didn't save that much beforehand. We invested a lot of money on the restaurant. That's where most of it went. And the two fat men demanded us to pay your debt, and we paid it for you. So I don't have much anymore. Whatever the case, we should try to raise enough money for Dad's surgery. I made some money on my own. It's not a lot. And I can also borrow from my friends. I can raise about 10000 But what about the rest of it? Mom, think about it. Do you have any personal savings or someone who owes money but hasn't paid it back? No, sweetheart. I'm telling the truth. We don't have any money. Ten years ago, I retired because of my sickness. I haven't worked since that happened to me. It's your dad who makes money to support us. How about this? Why don't we sell the house? If we do that, we'd have to close the restaurant. That's your father's lifeblood. Before he retired, your father hoped to have his own restaurant. That was his lifelong dream. He had always talked about wanting to own one. Mom, I'm sorry, but that's the only choice we have. When he's better, we can make more money. What's important is that we find a way to make him better. Yes, I understand. Hi. What is it now? Did you leave anything here? Go downstairs. Something's wrong. Do you think Grandpa... Don't say it. You took him to the hospital once. Do you remember where? Yes, I do. We have the results. I'm so sorry, but neither of you is a match. Let me see? Well, I don't understand it. Uh, doctor, what... What does it say? We can't really understand it. Please, can you explain it to us? You and your mother are both type A. But your father is type O. The prerequisite of a liver transplant is that the blood types must be a match. Both of you fail the first requirement. Doctor, is it possible that somehow the report is actually incorrect? It's impossible. Don't you know what your blood type is? Well, yes, of course I know what it is. It's just 
that I wanted to take a chance and see if I could donate a liver to help out my father. Doctor, please think about what else we can possibly do to help my father. We will do absolutely anything for him. Do you have any other family members? For instance, a male with a suitable blood type and is in good health condition? We do. No, we don't. It's only the three of us. No other family. By the way, Tony, I've never heard you mention your children. How many do you have? Just one daughter. <sighs> My daughter isn't too focused. She wants too much of everything. Our soup of the day. Fresh corn and fresh ribs. No artificial flavoring. It's delicious. <laughs> hey, Tony. This is a really sincere letter from you. Well, my daughter left home six months ago and hasn't come back since then. I'm just begging her to visit me. It really seems like you miss your daughter. You even beg her here. <sighs> Mom, I bought us some breakfast. Okay. How is Dad doing? He hasn't woken up. Your dad is fastidious. One time I was just at home. And late at night, when the restaurant closed, he used to wash his hands clean thoroughly and he would even do so with a brush. He applied hand cream after washing. He said to me that one's hands shouldn't get old. So I asked him, why is that? He said to me, he needed them to cook and write. Tony, please wake up, sweetheart. Whatever the cost, we'll try to help you in any way we can. After, when you finally get well, we will go home and live happily together. You and me and our daughter, okay? Mom, don't get so anxious. When the restaurant does get sold, we'll have enough money to give Dad his surgery. Please keep your voice down, and don't ever mention it when he wakes up. All right? Okay, Mom, I'll be quiet. Now we really have to discuss how to get a liver donor for him. I really think we should at least tell my brother about it, right? He isn't as bad as you think he is. If his blood type matches Dad's, then surely Dad's life can be saved. Do not go to him. I have been with your dad for so many years. He told me some matters about the divorce from his last marriage, but he has never mentioned him. Think about it. Your father doesn't accept him. That's just it. So how could he accept him as his liver donor? Do not speak to him. There. Hold this for me. Hmm? Will your parents think that I'm too old for you? It's not the first time you'll meet my dad. Just relax. Don't be so nervous. <clears throat> and besides, if you can behave yourself the way you do with me, huh, my mom will surely be a fan of yours. Are they even at home? Did you tell them we're coming? Oh no, I didn't want to. It would be too embarrassing had he changed the plan again. Besides, I wanted that when you meet them, it would be a surprise. Fine. Oh, 
honey, you're getting very good at that. Yes. Oh, keep going, okay? Who is it? Hello. Oh, hello. How can I help you? Is Jack Wu at home? No, he isn't. And you are? I am Olivia Lin's father. Oh, Olivia. Uh -huh. Well, I think you mean Harry's teacher, right? Correct. You're looking for Jack to... Uh, Olivia is now dating Jack. I came here in order to learn more about him. <laughs> so you are, you are Jack's future father-in-law. Uh, <laughs> All right uh, then, come in, please come in. Thanks. All right, come on in. Come, please have a seat. <laughs> it's so messy. <laughs> have a seat. <laughs> I'm gonna make you some tea, uh, all right? Just stay there. <laughs> You know, Jack, he's really a good man. How about I give him a call right now? No need. I can wait for him. Okay. Jack lost his father at an early age. His mother brought him up all on her own. He's a good man, very considerate. I don't think you'll have problems with him. <laughs> oh, that might be Jack at the door. Let me go open it. Long time oh, no see, Auntie Wendy, Wen. Wendy, hello. Oh, no. I just came here to return this well, plant to Jack. So how are you feeling now? I'm much better. This was given to me by Jack on my birthday. I'm moving somewhere else, so I'll just leave it here. Oh. You're really moving away? But what about your job? My friend referred me to a new company. I'm going to leave Shanghai. Oh, good for you, dear. You're a nice girl. You are receiving many blessings. <laughs> All right. Well, I do wish you a pleasant journey, and that someday you will find a good man, all right? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that'll happen. I loved him so much, I didn't think we'd end up like this. Uh, all right, Wendy. You see, I'm entertaining a guest. How about I visit you later instead, huh? Uh, madam, uh, don't ask her to leave. Please, miss, if you have something to say, just say it. And you are? Uh, pardon me, miss. I am Olivia's father. Oh, it's nice to meet you. Now, now, miss, from what you just said, I'm guessing you're Jack's ex-girlfriend, am I right? Oh, you Would see... Would you kindly tell me what is it that Jack did to you? Oh, now please, mister, it's not what you're thinking at all. You misunderstand. I'm afraid that I did not. Miss, tell me, did you break up with Jack because of Olivia Lee? Sorry, but it's not what you're thinking. Maybe Olivia is truly the right woman for him. I did love Jack and I don't have any regrets. Oh no, Wendy, huh? my dear. How could you even think to say that? There was nothing between you and Jack. Isn't that right? Madam, please. Don't, don't talk such nonsense in front of Olivia's father. You had nothing to do with Jack, right? All right, I see. Are you Jack's relative, ma'am? Please don't speak for him. I'm not a relative. If you must know, I'm his nanny. I've always known Jack to be a good man. Look, miss. First of all, I'd like to say sorry on Olivia's behalf. Uh, Besides, to be frank, you shouldn't make any hasty decisions for such an unworthy man. There's no need to apologize. Like I said, it's not like that. Maybe I'm not really the right woman for Jack. <sighs> I have loved him for three years, but I'm tired. It's time to leave here and start a new life elsewhere. Hello? Come back now. Our future son-in-law came to visit. Really? How dare he? Fine. I'm heading back there. I told you that. <laughs> oh, 
here, Jack. Have some fruit. Let me fill the tea for you. Mom, huh? since we've been here, you've filled it four times already. Oh, really? All right. Mm. <laughs> it's really good. Oh, here, eat a grape. It's good. <laughs> Listen, Jack, um, would you like some more tea? <clears throat> That's enough, Mom. <laughs> All right. I got it. So, Jack, I was wondering if you could tell me stories about your flights. Mrs. O, I recommend that you visit a few Weibo accounts. I'll give you some that even Olivia doesn't have. <laughs> there are many interesting stories about flights. You can read them on your own. How come okay. you didn't tell me? You followed other pilots' accounts, but not mine. So I'm jealous. Oh, oh, oh. Your father's Andy, back. come in. Hey. Why did you bring him home? Why are you here? Olivia, I, um... I invited Andy here. I'm the head of this family. I can invite anyone I want. Well, I'm head of the family, too. I cannot welcome the man who betrayed Olivia. It is very hard to say who really betrayed her. What do you mean by that, Dad? I came here with my boyfriend, and you bring him here? He want me to leave, just say it. Olivia. Let's go. No, don't, Olivia. <laughs> Olivia, hold on, wait. Will I... I think your dad has his reasons to bring Mr. Ye here to his home. Let's listen to what your dad has to say. Mr. Oh, I think you misunderstand me. Go ahead. Ask me anything. I'll do my best to explain things. I came from your home just now. Wendy Fay came over as well. I met her. She returned the plant you had given her. She said to me that you had broken her heart and that she's leaving Shanghai. Can you explain to me what happened between you and that girl? Dad, I know Wendy Fay. She was madly in love with Jack, but nothing happened between them. I'm not asking you. The girl stood by him for many years. Though she was deserted by him, she still lovingly spoke up for him. She defended him without fail. Just like how you were speaking up for him right now. You're behaving like a foolish girl, brainwashed by a man. Soon you'll be deserted by that man next to you. Dad, you don't know him like I do. I do love Jack very much so, and I'm not brainwashed. But you, Dad, you are prejudiced against him. That's your excuse to separate us. Olivia, if he didn't do anything wrong, how could I be prejudiced against him? <clears throat> I, uh... <sighs> Mr. O, oh, I'd like to say something. Well, it hasn't been long since I became a father, but I can understand the need of a father to protect his child to shield his daughter from harm. Olivia and I want to spend the rest of our lives together. It's not a casual love affair. I know there's friction between us. He won't accept any of my explanations. Time reveals a man's true heart. And my love for Olivia is true. Just wait and you'll see. Wait for what? Wait for you to brainwash me? Dad, I brought him here as my guest. You have gone too far. Olivia, don't be impulsive. What your dad said is for your own happiness. You have no right to speak. My happiness has nothing to do with you. Let's go. Come on. Uh, goodbye, everyone. I'm sorry. My life is complicated, and it's bringing trouble to your relationship with your dad. I should be saying sorry to you. My dad went to your home to investigate. He even got Andy involved in this whole mess. Let's stop saying sorry to each other. Nothing to be sorry for. Actually, I feel happy today. At least, your mother seems to like me a lot. Well, that is true. The way she treated you, it seems you've caught in another hardcore fan. So we should work together. Don't worry. We'll win your dad over. We'll persuade him. Anyway, let's change the subject. How about we do something fun? <laughs> hey, eyes on the road. <laughs> <laughs> I wanna run away. Wanna go back to that place where we can share our feelings. I think I still got a place for all my dreams and fantasies. Even though I may be too 
late for anything Wanna chase my dreams Are the fancy things Still got passion in my bloodstream Hope I'm not too late Wanna make you change Don't wanna waste my life away Wanna chase my dreams Are the fancy things Life is filled with surprise You should drink some milk. It'll help you sleep. Don't be angry with me. What I did was for Olivia's own benefit. Just because you want what's best for our daughter doesn't mean you should be mean to Jack. You were rude. <sighs> I went to his home earlier today. His family is just common folk. His economic status is ordinary. Although that doesn't matter, the point is I don't like his character. What's wrong with his character? Whatever your point is, you shouldn't have brought Andy into this. That man has already hurt our daughter before. You know it quite well. As the saying goes, a fault confessed is half redressed. Andy has showed his character to me. I think we should give him another chance. If you give him a chance, why not give a chance to Jack as well? Andy is still young. He has a chance to change himself. But then Jack, well, he's already 40 years old. He's too old to change his nature. You had a chance to talk with Andy for a long time in that room this afternoon. Maybe you were brainwashed by him. <sighs> I'm an old man now. It's not easy to brainwash me. I chatted with him about his plans for his career and his life. You know, he felt sorry for Olivia. In my opinion, he is the right man for her. I don't trust him. He's still a man after all. He betrayed her once, he'll betray her again. You may forgive him, but I don't. And neither will our daughter. For his relationship with Olivia, it's up to him, right? I think Andy is a considerate man. He even reminded me, it's your birthday tomorrow. Your daughter, you, and me as well. We all forgot about it. Well, it's useless. I don't celebrate it. Thank you, Jack. So, did you have fun today? Yes, I did. I even forgot the quarrel with my dad. Please don't fight with your dad anymore. Look, I won't argue with him. Even if he refuses you, I will stand by you no matter what. I, I really do mean it. Don't ever fight with your dad. For any man. In this world, it is your father who will be the one man who will love you most of all. No one can ever replace your dad. I mean it. Remember that, alright? All right, fine. I'll try not to argue with him. We haven't gone to home-like restaurant. Tell me, how is Tony doing? Tony... Tony is ill. It seems his sickness is very serious. I even tried to visit him, but he didn't want me there. Even when he's ill, he's still reluctant to see me. He doesn't see me as family. Don't think too much. You've done enough. Harry and I, we are your family. Do you mean we should take our relationship to the next level? <laughs> it's getting late. You should go now, huh? Wait, I should go on hang too. on a second. You forgot something.
最了不起的脆弱，迷惘不过就这样。天外有天，有无常；山外有山，有他乡。跌了撞了，心还是回老地方。有离与城市的同样，错过了心爱的姑娘。宣告世界的那个理想已不知去向，为所欲。不声，方是悲伤。后来再把成熟当偏方。当所有想的、说的、要的、爱的，都记在心脏。行李箱里装不下我想去的远方。这来的、去的、给的、欠的，算一种。吹走的建筑，张开的至少还有光。把烦恼痛了、吞了、忍了、算了，不对别人讲。谁还？